Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, the one question interview from Celebration Europe, which you may have heard me repeat this a bunch of times, but I'll share it with you one more time at least, is what is the biggest unresolved mystery or story in Star Wars right now that you would like to see resolved in your lifetime? And I asked viewers and listeners to share their thoughts on that with me. And I just wanted to highlight today four of the answers that I received that cross all eras of Star Wars storytelling, which is very cool. From the prequel era, we have one from Jay Ledesma 1998 on YouTube who wants to hear something about the rule of two, that it should be one of the most closely guarded secrets of the Sith. I wonder how Yoda knows about it. So I'd like to know how the Jedi learned this secret. And that's a really good question. I mean, it goes back to the Phantom Menace at the end when Yoda and Mace Windu are talking about how, you know, always two there are, a master and an apprentice. And Mace Windu's like, yeah, but which one died? Darth Maul, was he the master or the apprentice? So how is it that Yoda happens to know this particular thing? The Sith were supposed to have been gone forever and they're shocked at their return. I do wonder if the High Republic is going to give us an answer to this and maybe even potentially the Acolyte series that's coming from Leslie Headland in 2024. So we'll keep our fingers crossed on that. Then from the original trilogy era, Bobby Gordon, who's a patron and a friend and a supporter of the show, says, I'd like to know how Wicket survived the great Endor Death Star wreckage apocalypse. And that came along with a beautiful story about how he is gently introducing his daughter to Star Wars stories. And I personally am not a girl dad I have two boys but my goodness the way that he shared how he is gently introducing Star Wars to her is how I hope that I would have done the same had I had a daughter and even if they'd had the foresight to try to mitigate some of that stuff it's fairly certain that some of the wreckage would have gotten through to Endor, even if they had been like, yep, we're actively planning for the possibility to prevent an ecological disaster. Yeah, something had to hit Endor, and so it would be very interesting to find out that story. I agree. Now, here's one that talks about our current state of Star Wars storytelling. This comes from Adam Young, Young uh, 6051 on YouTube, who says, who was the Mandalorian who took on Din Djarin as his or her apprentice? Are they still alive? And what was their relationship like? And that one builds off a reveal at the last bit of live action Star Wars storytelling that we have right now, the season finale of season three of The Mandalorian. I don't get the idea that we understood this particular quality of Mandalorian mentorship or that it happened until it was posed to us by the armorer as she's instructing Din and Grogu to go about on their adventures in the galaxy. But I feel like the fact that the armorer actually draws that particular parallel suggests that this Mandalorian that Adam is talking about does still exist, is still somewhere out there in the galaxy, and just, you know, knowing the way that Filoni and Favreau work, I hope that particular Mandalorian is revealed to us in season four. I mean, just imagine a grandparent for Grogu, basically, you know, how much fun would that be? And the last one I want to share with you comes from the Expanded Universe, actually, and this is from Peter Janeling, who, and I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong, Peter, I'm so sorry, Janeling, maybe? Maybe that's closer, um, who is also a friend and supporter of the podcast for a long time. So his question has to do with the Yuzong Vong. He says, I love that expanded universe story about the cataclysm and the war that was raging in the galaxy. Sadly, it's a story told before the canon started. I hope there will be a sidetrack for Disney to explore this kind of species um, who is so occupied by their beliefs, almost very close to home in real life. Now, I personally did not read the old expanded universe novels long enough to get to the point where the Yuzong Vong War was happening, but I hear interesting things about it, and I read <laughs> interesting things in Chris Kempshaw's The History and Policy of Star Wars when he made reference to it in there. But that species was a major part of Star Wars storytelling for a long time. And they have been reintroducing elements of old legends stuff back into the canon from time to time. And so, yeah, that's a species I think is ripe for a comeback. And I hope that they are going to tell us a story about them and <laughs> what they might be up to at particular points of the galaxy's history. 
So there you go. That's four of the answers that I received from viewers and listeners like you who have questions about Star Wars storytelling and have hopes that there will be some stories or unresolved mysteries resolved in their lifetime and hope you enjoyed them. I really enjoyed those answers, so thank you very much. I really appreciate your responses. And that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it, as always. And may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, by their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.